All right, now we're going to show you how to put your trailer weight in if you just have or truck weight if you just have this gauge on your truck or your trailer and you're monitoring just one drive axle. So when you get the gauge installed, um, you're set up in AVG mode. You've got one high control valve. Um, there's really nothing to do with the modes. So we're just just have a normal uh, trailer axle group. Um, so right now we've got low pressure in the airbags. Uh, we're sitting at 9,750 pounds and we've gone across the cat scale. We've got our, our trailer weight for that axle group is 13,100. Um, so we're gonna go uh, do a low cal. So, so we'll hold down cal low until you see CL pop up and we'll raise that number up with the up arrow to 13,100. And then when we get there, we'll hold down cal low again to save it. All right, and that's our empty cal. And we'll go get loaded up, uh, get the air pressure up in the bags, get a nice heavy load on there, and we'll do the heavy calibration. All right, so I've added some air pressure to this gauge to kind of simulate what happens in the airbags when you add a bunch of weight. Um, and so we're sitting here at 30,350 pounds, um, but we've, we've gone across the scale, let's say, and uh, our trailer weight comes to 33,100. And so we need to do a cal high and we'll raise that value up to match our scale ticket for the trailer axle group. So hold down cal high. And then we'll use the up arrow and we'll get it to 33,100. Okay, and we'll hold cal high to save it. Okay, now if it doesn't let you get into cal high or cal low, it's probably because you're trying to do these two steps at the same air pressure. We get that call a lot, and you just got to remember, um, you know, do your empty cal while you're empty, while there's low pressure in the bags, and do your loaded calibration while you're heavy and there's high pressure in the bags. Um, the other reason that it might not work is if it's not connected to air. Um, you know, the, if the pressure in the bag doesn't change, it won't let you do one or the other. You know, if you did cal low first and the pressure didn't change, it's not going to let you do cal high, and you have to actually um, reset the gauge in order to let it do that or get a change in pressure so go get a load so.